Hello, this is Andy Ford Video, and we're going to look at making a solar atmosphere in After Effects. First, we'll create a new solid and then add fractal noise, which is under the noise and grain effects. For a sun-like object, I think selecting dynamic twist as the fractal type is great for creating those swirls and twirls. Bump up the contrast to your liking, and then set keyframes for evolution. Next, we need to add coloring. There's several options here, but in this case, we'll use Colorama. You can choose the fire preset, and that looks fairly realistic. Then we need to create a round shape, so we can use CC Sphere to create a sphere. Then we'll go under Shading, and we'll bump up the ambient setting to 100, and this will avoid the fall off you see on the right side of the sphere. And now we can add Y rotation keyframes, and this will make our sun rotate. Next, with our layer selected, we'll go to Layer Auto Trace, and then we will add this to a new layer. And when we hit OK here, we'll see a new layer is formed and we had this circular mask. With this outline of our sun, we can now add the saber effect. Under Customize Core in the saber effect, we can set the core type to Layer Masks, and now saber will follow this trace circle. And then we can choose a preset, and I actually think the heat preset looks more sun-like than the solar preset for this instance. And now we can set the blending mode on this layer to Add, and we'll see our sun. And then we can alter the saber settings to our liking. For example, one thing to do is to put wind speed down to zero, which is under the glow distortion settings, and then possibly rein in some of the glow and spread. But again, there's almost infinite possibilities here to make a solar atmosphere, but you can get off the ground fairly quickly by following this tutorial and changing settings to your liking. Thank you.